So, uh, I've had my LS1 and my 246 for a while, and the speedometer hasn't worked because the signal types are different from the GM PCM to the Nissan Cluster. Uh, I didn't really want to buy a Dakota digital converter box because I figured I could do it myself, and um, I've heard they have issues on lower speeds kind of bouncing around, so I wanted to see if I could figure out a better solution. So, I've been experimenting, and uh, I have a cluster here hooked up, and you can see it's actually reading like 40 miles an hour. And basically, I have this little circuit here, it's just a simple 555 timer, and it's creating a pulse at about uh, 91 hertz about a 50% duty cycle. And the key here isn't so much the 555 circuit, because that's meant to emulate the speed sensor on the GM transmission. The key here is this capacitor here, which is dropping the low side below zero volts. And that creates a pulse that looks similar to what the Nissan Cluster wants. So if all goes well, I'll be able to just hook this capacitor here in line with um, the output from the GM PCM and it will produce a signal that the cluster can read. Of course the GM PCM will need to be adjusted to multiply the pulse rate but that's the easy part. The hard part was figuring out what what I need here to make that signal conversion work. And you can see that's not it's hardly a uh, sine wave that the cluster is used to. It's kind of a tapered square wave and the tapering comes from that capacitor, but apparently all the Nissan cluster cares about is that the uh, the low end drops below zero volts, so it goes up and down over zero, and it counts the pulses every time it crosses the zero threshold. So hopefully the next video I'll have something like this working in the car.